Okay, here is our friend, Mr. Three Hands. Um, the meta rig is displayed, so let's hide it. And let's focus on the final rig. If we go to pose mode, uh, item, first of all, you, you can see that some uh, buttons are were created, but again, they are not labeled. And also, all of my bones are completely black, so no bone groups are set up here. Let's unhide the meta rig, select it, and uh, the viewport displayed, I don't need axis anymore. And let's expand uh, bone groups and layer names. Uh, for bone groups, I'll, I'm going to click add standard, and for layer names, add, I'm going to click the add rigify layers button. And uh, let's see what we have. I'm going to isolate the meta rig. Let's expand. So everything right now is on a single layer, which is probably not what we want. Um, so let's see how we are going to organize this. Let's organize it uh, so that everything goes from top to bottom. So the menu for the tentacles will come first, then the head, then arms, then spine and leg. So in edit mode, I'm going to select the tentacles with L and move them to the first layer. Then let's select the head uh, with those skull bones and let's move them to the third layer. The reason I want to move them to the third layer is that I know that the tentacles have twig bones. So I want to put those on the second layer. And let's go to the second layer and see what we have for the head under bone tab. Head also has additional tweak layers, so let's put them on the fourth. Unhide the tentacles and for each tentacle I'm going to... Oh, it's already set up. Uh, the tentacles, the tweak layers are set up to the second layer, which is exactly what I want. So now I don't want to switch to between the armature and uh, bone tab all the time, so I'm going to split this screen and I'm going to make this one armature with the layers visible and this one I'll keep to bone and let's shift select this layer which holds all of the all of our bones hmm. okay actually I'll keep the spine on the next layer so let's select it in edit mode select it and I'm also going to include the pelvis and chest bones with it I'm going to move them to the fifth layer. Let's go to the fifth layer. Select this bone which holds the rigify property. And here uh, the spine has two additional layers. It has some tweak layers that we're going to put on the sixth layer. And the FK controls will be on the fifth layer. And really quickly, the way I know that this is the fifth layer is uh, if I hover over, over it, I, guess I get this tooltip. If you don't get the tooltip, you have to go to Preferences and switch to Interface. And over here you have tooltips and Python tooltips. So have both of these checked. If I have them unchecked, then nothing will pop up. Then only with tooltips I get some general information about uh, these layers. And then with Python tooltip, if you look at the very end of the of the information that you get, you'll see in brackets a number. So uh, this one is zero. If I hover over the next one, it's one. Uh, then the next one is two and so on. So the layers uh, start from zero and not from one. You, this is important to note. And so the, the last one is 31. So in total, I have 32 layers. We did set up uh, the layers for the spine. So we uh, everything is taken until uh, up to layer 6. So let's go back to this layer and see what we have. We have arms and and fingers, and I, I think I'm going to keep those separated, but I, for now I'm going to uh, move them to layer 7. And let's go to layer 7, and uh, let's see what we have here. This is already set up uh, nicely. I have FK on layer 8 and tweak layers on layer uh, 9 and let's check if it's uh, set up correctly for everything and yeah that's good so i want to move the fingers to layer these squares are really difficult to work with but uh, it's layer 10 and let's go to layer 10 and uh, let's see what we have 
So currently the tweak layers are set up on a layer 2, but I want it on layer 11. And I have to set it up for all six fingers. Uh, don't forget to deselect uh, the currently selected one. Okay, great. So now layer 11 is taken. And uh, all, all I have left is the the leg. Let's select it and move it to, to layer 12. Go to layer 12, select this bone and see what kind of layers we have. So I just want to move the FK layers to layer 13 and uh, the tweak bones to layer 14. And that's it. That's all I need. Now I'm going to unhide all layers that have bones on it. And uh, let's close this and uh, let's switch to the armature tab. And now here I can start to uh, give to label my buttons. So let's do that. On the first, on the top layer, we have the tentacles, and the second one is tentacle tweak. The next layer is the head. So having doing everything in order from top to bottom makes it a little bit easier to remember which layer holds uh, which bones. So the next layer will, will be head tweak. The next one, I decided to put the spine on it, so this one will be spine. Then let's call it spine main. And then spine. I think I put the FK uh, on on the the next layer, so let's check that under bone tab. Yeah, tweak layers are on the uh, whatever. Uh, what is it? Sixth layer, and the FK controls are in the fifth. So spine FK and the next will be spine tweak. On the next layer, I did put the arms. So we have arms IK. Uh, on the next layer, I put the FK of the arms, the FK controls for the arms. And on the next one is uh, are the tweak bones for the arm. So arm tweak. Maybe I should say arms. Next, we have fingers and some some tweak bones, I believe. Yes, tweak, so fingers, tweak. And finally, we have the leg. So leg, this will be leg IK. Then the ne next layer, I have I uh, FK controls for the leg, FK. And finally, leg tweak. So this uh, process is a little bit uh, air error prone. Uh, I think I did it correctly, but we'll see. As I told you just a second ago, the first layer in uh, Blender is called is uh, numbered zero, but over here it's uh, numbered as one. And so the tweak bones for the leg are on 14, and here I have them on 15. So it should be good. Um, so let's see how I want to organize the menu. So I'm going to keep the tentacles, uh, tentacle buttons on the first row. The head main controls will be on the second. Then head tweak also on second, second row. Yeah, let's, let's keep everything together. So, uh, all the spine controls will be on the third row and, um, uh, spine main, spine FK and spine tweak all on the, th on the third row. Then, arms IK on 4, arm FK also on 4, on four, and this will also be 4, the tweak bones, fingers on 5, and legs on 6. Okay, and now let's set up the bone groups. The tentacles are generally FK, so I'm going to give them the FK preset, 5, and the tweak bones are easy, they're always, uh, they're labeled as tweak, so let's give them bone group of four. Then the head is also FK, and tweak bones are tweak, that belong to the tweak group. Um, so the main controls for the spine are kind of work like AIK, so I think uh, the way Rigify does it is it puts them on the IK. No, actually I remember they were, were yellow, so let's uh, set them to special three. Uh, then we have spine FK, that's uh, simple, just uh, give it the uh, bone group 5, which is FK, and tweak is always bone group 4. 
then we have arms ik so that will be bone group 2 then arms fk 5 twig bones on 4 mm, the fingers are generally fk so let's make them give them a uh, number 5 bone group 5 and twig is 4 um, leg ik is 2 fk is 5 and twig is 4 and i think that's about it. Let's uh, go out of local mode because we want our uh, generated rig to be visible when we, we try to regenerate it. So advanced options, let's make that uh, it's set to overwrite and it's looking good so I'm going to press generate rig, go to item and I can see if my uh, buttons were organized the way I wanted them. I can see that it's definitely the way the way I imagined it, but now that you see the buttons you may think uh, maybe I can organize it in a different way. Certainly you can uh, go back to your uh, meta rig and uh, change some of these rows, uh, row settings and uh, gen generate again, but I'm happy with this layout. So let's go to pose mode and uh, hit slash to isolate. And yeah, it's looking good. Um, the, my IK controls, I can see that they're red. Uh, these green ones are are F fk for the arm then here we have fk for the for the leg uh, if if you've played around with the pre-built metrics uh, then looking at this you will know that everything went well hit slash again and hide the meta rig and try to play around with this so yeah, you can see that it's much easier to recognize uh, the functionality of each bones because they're color coded and so if I was to animate this guy, then what I, I would do is um, I generally like my hands to be FK, so I'm going to go to each each hand and uh, switch to FK. Then I'm going to, from these buttons, hide the arms IK and also the twig bones. Actually, uh, I would hide all of the twig bones and all, only unhide them when I actually need them. And so you see how our control rig got much, much less busy and much easier to see what's happening. Hmm. These tweak bones are on the same layer as the main controls for the spine. So uh, it seems that I made a mistake somewhere. So let's go to my meta rig and go to pose mode, select this uh, spine that holds the rigify property and see what happened. Yes, what happened was I did not des deselect this layer. So you can select multiple layers and uh, and then the final rig will be available on more, more than one layers. So be aware that you can do that. Th this layer was selected or uh, active. I'm going to deselect it and uh, quickly regenerate the rig now the spine tweak bones yeah this button uh, hides my spine tweak bones and this one hides the main controls so let's uh, hide all the tweak bones let's go to pose mode and since i regenerated things are back to to the default state so i'm going to set up fk again for the arms and uh, let's hide the arm ik controls And the leg I want to keep uh, have as IK, so I'm going to hide the FK controls. And yeah, that's that gives me. Uh, I'm going to hide the metric as well, and that gives me really clean interface that I can work with and animate. And uh, before we go, I want to point out something. It's um, it's really short, something really short. So I don't want to create a separate chapter for it. Rigify by default. Uh, reserves these four layers, the last four layers, for its own uh, functionality. This layer, layer 28, is reserved for the root, so you can uh, kind of hide it and hide it from here. These uh, three layers are layers that that you don't touch in general. You just leave them alone, but I'm going to just briefly mention what uh, what we have on each layer. On this very last layer, 
if you select any of these layers, you'll see that they have this prefix ORG, which stands for original. So that's your original bone. On the next layer, bones have the prefix MCH, which stands for mechanical. And on the next one, each of the bone has this prefix DEF. And DEF uh, st stands for deformation. So these uh, DEF bones, deformation bones, these are the bo uh, bones that deform your mesh. The MCH bones are just mechanical bones that create uh, certain functionality. Like for example, in the arms you have uh, IK and FK and you're able to switch between them. Uh, and this happens over here in the MCH bones. And the original bones, I'm not quite sure. I think this is pretty technical stuff. But I think what happens is all these uh, layers that we have that we actually use, those are the control bones. The control bones uh, control the original bones, then then the mechanical bones create uh, further functionality, and then finally those uh, that functionality carries over to the, the to the deforming bones, and the deforming bones are moved, and that moves your character. And uh, I'm not completely sure if this explanation is correct. It may be a little bit wrong, but it doesn't matter because that's the whole point of Frigify, that we don't need to understand all of the uh, complicated stuff that uh, goes behind the scenes.